I have now built eight model railroads in the past seven years. Holy crap, that's a lot. I've made a ton of mistakes, but one of the worst was doing different parts of model railroad construction out of order, and this just made things more difficult. And with me building a railroad number nine right back over here, man, I need to take a break. Here are the steps I am using and the order I'm doing them in to build this model railroad. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. I'm drinking some eight o'clock coffee today. You can check out what some of my viewers are drinking right here. If you wanna tell me what kind of coffee you're drinking and have it featured right here, you can leave that in the comments below. Cheers, guys. That wake you up. Step one is probably the most obvious one. You can probably guess it, planning. Plan the crap out of your model railroad. And I'm not just talking about making some drawings on a few sheets of paper of things that you would like to see. I'm talking about buy books, get track planning guides or software, figure out everything that you want to do from track to layout height, to buildings and industry, to electronics, to how much wood you're gonna to need to build it. And there's tons of resources, like there's a lot of people who do channels just like mine. There's tons of resources out there for free. There's also tons of paid resources out there as well. So definitely look for all those resources for research and figuring out what you wanna do. Figure out all of this now and you will save yourself at least one to three headaches down the road. You can save even more headaches by making a shopping list of everything that you need so that you can buy it when you need to buy it in the process. Step number two, build your base. Whether it's just a board on a folding table or some elaborate shrine to model railroading. The base is the foundation that your model railroad stands on. So take your time. Make your measurements and cuts carefully and you will have bench work that not only looks great, but works great for your model railroad. Pro tip, be picky about the lumber you're buying. Look up and down the boards, make sure they aren't warped, chipped, or damaged. All that will save you another headache or two. Step number three, lay your track. This is obviously one of the most important parts of the layout process, if not the most important. Laying track is a critical step to get right. So whether you're using standard track and cork road bed or a product like Easy Track or Unitrack, laying your track is something you must get right. Otherwise, you're gonna have a ton of problems. I've done a few of these videos on this and I will link them at the end of this video. Now my go-to glue for track, including ones with pre-attached road bed and regular, is simple latex caulk. If you lay your track properly, this will save you potentially dozens of headaches. Step four, electrical work. Look at me, everything that needs power and a wire needs to be worked on at this step. This includes track, lighting, turnouts, accessories, everything. If it needs a wire running to it, this is the time to do it. The reason for this is that you want to hide every connection you make with scenery. This means that you'll be running under the baseboard most likely, and you can take your time and make adjustments in this step. The only time you may run into issues is if you're putting lights for buildings in or street lights on sidewalks, things like that. You may just need to prep the necessary holes for the lights and run the wires later. Nonetheless, wire as much as you can and get everything at least somewhat prepped in this step. The more wiring you can complete without having to do something later when you're doing scenery, the better. Step number five, build that scenic base structure. This is where you start building those mountains, carving those rivers, placing everything that's not a perfectly flat surface. If you want hills, valleys, ditches, gutters, anything, this is the time to do it. Your modeling materials may vary, but this step will not. This is really the last step before we begin the decorative part of layout construction. Step number six, base and track paint. Now it is time to paint. We are painting everything. Paint your entire base a single color unless you have scene changes. I use household latex paint for this. It's relatively cheap and you can make it last if you buy it by the gallon. You'll also want to paint your rails at this point. Yes, paint your track. It makes it look a whole lot better. Just make sure that you cover the sensitive parts of turnouts, wipe the tops of the rails off when you're done, and don't use a brush. Use an airbrush if you have it and you're comfortable with it, but spray paint actually works pretty great for this too. Step seven, put in those paved roads. 
Roads are way easier to put in before scenery, especially if you're doing styrene roads like I prefer. This way you can get the roads exactly right and blend them into the scenery around them. There are a number of ways to make roads. Seriously, I've done like four or five by myself. I'll link a video on my personal favorite that I've done at the end of this video. Step number eight, scenery. This is the fun part. This is the part that you have been waiting for. And it's a big step. Scenery. This is the one where there is so much that you can do that the only general advice I can give you is to take it slow and when in doubt, let it dry overnight. Scenery is the fun part because it is where your railroad comes alive. And if you've done all the other steps, then you'll be watching your railroad come more and more in life as you complete more and more scenery. Now, why did I want to make this video? Well, I want to help speed you past some of the uh, unfun, unnecessary learning parts of model railroading in your model railroading journey that I had to learn the hard way. So that, for example, you don't have to learn the hard way that it's easier to put in streetlights before major scenery rather than after it. Now, there are some things that you just have to learn by doing. I can show you how to lay flex track a thousand times, but until you have a piece in your hand, it's just not the same. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.